Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate, Session 52, Part 2. Uh, it is the 19th of June 2020. I am Ryan, the GM, and here are the players. I'm Adrian, and I play Arya Bluebird, the half elf druid. Hello, Sean, I play Bastiel, the Wolf Lodge cleric. Hello, I'm Scott, I'm playing your granny knitting in a corner. I'm playing. I'm a station. Oh, you know. Yeah. Um, Yeah, I'm playing Crumb by the Half Orc Paladin. Still knitting. Well, I'm trying now. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I have to reach a half elf monk. Mm -hmm. I also rest in peace. Ian Holm, aka Bilbo, and all the other wonderful roles that he. uh, he did for us over time, unfortunately, yes. Oh, yep. Fuck today. Died today. Yeah. Uh, but moving swiftly on, do people want to catch Crumbar up on what he missed from part one? So you did a lot of knitting. Yeah. Right you know my scarf. <laughs> scarf with plot. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally plot armor. The fabric yeah. of reality. Well... Uh, let's see. We, so we left off with the Dwarven King. We had a conversation. We talked him into uh, basically getting, giving his blessing to go uh, seek out the White Dragon. Then we came up with the idea that basically he explained to us that the way they did it before with the Dwarves made a pact with the Dragon is by giving them an offering that, that was like a symbol of um, a collaboration between dwarves and dragons. It was a sick hammer that Golden Worm created. And is that the think... one that the Dwarf King uses? No, different one. Oh, wait, so this is one they gave to the dragons, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's right, because this hammer was made by the guy that made you. Yeah. Yeah, right, okay. So now we, we come up with the idea that we could make some equally as cool as the hammer to, to fill the role of the pact that got broken when the, sh- the throne got shattered. Mm-hmm. Uh, by getting something from each of the factions. So we talked to Dwarven King around. Ooh. He gave us his crown. So the, the crown is part of the pact now between all the realms. We're going to try and fall. So... Oh, 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 this is getting tasty. Yeah, so so we're going to try and go to the Citadel and use their teleporters. Uh, teleporters. Is that the... Portals. <laughs> Portals. Yeah. 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 And we, like, yeah. Try it's the something. same. Yeah. The portals yeah. teleporters. Yeah. The thing yeah. Yeah. Zippy holes. It's like yeah. sci fi shit. Though. I mean, teleport is a spell, though, in D&D. So, like, yeah. it's it, it's legit, you know? All right, good. And yeah, so we got the. the he actually gave us his crown. So now that's, we're going to try and get. That's insane. Who's wearing the crown is the most important part. I mean, the, the, right now. for Crumbar's benefit, the scene was a uh, Bastille went, How about we take your hammer's yeah, sim- well, we symbology have... to this uh, pact? And he was, he grabbed his hammer and went, No, this can be used <laughs> to defend my people. Took his crown off and sat it on the table, like kind of sur- around the big crystal chunk of the throne that you have. He just sat it around that, a bit like a wreath. And then. I did try. I tried my very best to get the hammer. And off he walked we with his try. hammer. Yeah, that would be pretty sick if you had gotten that to wield, man. Um, has there been any further development with the Eremos case? Yeah, they told uh, uh, the king that they knew who he was before he became what he is now. But he's not reappeared or anything like that? or There was a cutscene at the very start of the game. Uh-huh. He uh, appeared, he dropped down onto like the balcony that looks out onto the spires. And a voice said, "Is it what done?" Spire? Sorry, you don't know. Sorry, what? Just spires. Oh, right. the, the spires, right? And uh, this was from another cutscene from before, where some kind of slender man with a spear was told, you know, to go interfere with things from the previous cutscenes. Mm. And uh, he said, "Is it done?" The voice from behind the camera, and then the figure that landed on the balcony looks up, and it's clearly older Eremos, and he says, "I have failed." And then that was it cut. Mm. That was it. He missed that. So technically, yes, Eremos has shown his face technically to the audience. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. I believe I'm sufficiently caught up. Uh, where did we finish then? Just chatting with the king still? Uh, yep. We were just. The king stormed off with his hammer. Um, so we've got. You're technically in the room with. Uh, Reach, Kitlith, Bastail, and Dondrabella, who says, where to first? And then there's a conversation about, should it be the Elf Queen first? And then possibly the drama therein. And Arya ran after the Dwarf King, because they had talked about just giving him the ability to grow stuff for free. Ow. So she's ran off with him, for that reason. So, um, yeah. <coughs> I think what we'll do is we'll open up with Arya and the King. And uh, that sounds like the name of a musical. Sorry, that's oh, the King and I, right? And uh, <laughs> yeah. the King and I, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, you head uh, back after a while. You maybe like see it being somewhat familiar, right? Um, to the the path you took before, and you head into the uh, the growing chambers, as we'll just call them now, since that seems like a good enough name, and. There's a bunch of like people tending to like the grounds and whatnot uh, that you just walk by that you definitely don't remember from seeing before, and he, like, he's using his ring to kind of like dispel the darkness around you again in a big kind of radius. Has there been any more conversation you've said to him along the way, or is it as is? I'll just, as he says that, I'll just, I'll shoot, as he does that, I'll be like, "That's a very nifty ring. Much appreciated." <laughs> yes, it's um. We use artificial darkness here to ensure that there is no light pollution that could interrupt any attempts to rehabilitate plant life to subterranean growth. I kind of like nods. I kind of like fiddles with the ring. Sorry. Uh, no, what are you going to oh. say? It's fine. <laughs> I was going to say, I, I know a few astronomers who would love that, but yeah. Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. It's quite a cool idea, to be honest. Um, yeah, it would be brilliant. <laughs> it would be um, amazing. Mm -hmm. but yeah. I've got to say, part of me doesn't quite like wrap, like, part of me, the player's mm -hmm. mind, doesn't quite wrap properly around that, because I'm like, but some plants need. I mean, this is why he is failing, right? Because, you know, the sun's yeah. a big deal. Isn't that? Yeah. Is photosynthesis is, 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 is still a thing in this land? I mean, <laughs> science is a questionable concept in D&D, but the... That is very true. I mean... Some people believe in science, some people yeah. don't, but magic's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah. a science ca it's like, science can explain a lot. For everything else, there's magic. The thing is, right, it is valid, that joking phrase from Studo, because like, in D&D, like, gravity isn't actually a thing. It's an on-off thing. Like, so there either is or isn't gravity, and it either has or hasn't affected you. It's weird, but that's how it works in D&D. &D. It's, it's really dumb. Like, also, you don't suffocate immediately by floating off into space, because that's not a thing you need to worry about. <laughs> like, it's weird, right? But here we are, D and D. Well, the realms of disc. It's so bizarre. This particular realms of disc. But this isn't part of D and D. Um, so yeah, really bizarre. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, science works questionably well in this world, and uh, yeah, like photosynthesis is the problem he's trying to combat. Right? He wants the he wants the ability for plants that are nutritional and don't need sunlight, right? If they could just require, say, heat and nutrients, for example, that aren't from the sun, he'd love that. Um, but obviously, you know, he is growing in volcanic soil, which is at least something, you know? Mm. But, yeah, you can only do so much without people like Arya being able to just be like, I'll just spend eight hours and make this amazing. Since that's something she's able to do. But yeah, so uh, as you're walking, you say that's quite a neat ring. Um, kind of absent minded, little, like, kind of fiddles with it in his hand. You're like, mm, yes, it um, projects an anti magical field that dispels the darkness for a time to allow our passage. Kind of like half muttering to himself, right? Like, you know, clearly this had been explained to him at some point. Gotcha. Um, I'll, I'll nod and be like, that is very interesting. And, um, and 
it says, and your ability to assist us in this matter, can you share the details? What do you require for this process, this ritual of sorts, this gift? Um, one second, because I'm trying to remind myself if I actually need anything or if I just have everything mm. for it. Components. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, there's a drink. <laughs> well, I know I'll need to do it for eight hours. That's kind of the only thing I can remember about. Even it. you forgot all the details of the wonderful plant growth spell that everybody has burnt into their mind. <laughs> yeah, you think after uh, failing so. Uh, 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 well, it wasn't a failure, that's the point. Epically. Uh. Uh, last uh, I was gonna say the, the spell worked. Heart, the intentions but... maybe didn't, but the the spell definitely worked. The spell works superbly. Yeah. 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 So hundred foot radius. Entered on a point. Um, and Feel free just to paste it in chat again. I can exclude. Because um, it's the next part of this. What you what you pasting it? Is this the plant growth thing? Oh no, this spell still gives me anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got okay. the the most important part, right? Is I will do it for eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> I will do it for eight hours, and it does say that I can choose to exclude areas. So I'll exclude whatever like paths they already have. Like if you know if they have some sort of order in how they've planted things, and I'm assuming they would. Yeah, I mean you've got eight hours little... to do this, right? So I don't mind if you want to just like narratively yeah. take a whole bunch of time to go through like the growth chambers, right? Because it is like for half a mile. Um... Yeah, so I'll 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 do that then. And obviously, if it's just if it's like half a mile wide or whatever it was, then I think I'll just I won't start like at the very middle. I'll just start in a corner, you know, just in case. Mm. Well, I mean, like, like oh, that's yeah, like it. If... I have to do it again or whatever. <laughs> well, I was, well, was going to say, like, yeah, like, there, there is definitely multiple chambers. You might only have shown you one, but, like, to feed the entire people, there will definitely be a bunch of these. So, I'd say at a minimum, you maybe need to cast this four times if you wanted to hit all of the, like, you know, areas, even just enough to start the process in each of them, right? Because okay. if you can yeah, enrich yeah. it enough, maybe he can start it going. And then it might become self perpetuating. Sure. Okay. Gotcha. Well, I guess we'll be staying here for a few more days, guys. Hope you're happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. This is my life now. Um, yeah, it just it I, depends I, how much you want to commit to it, right? Because, I mean, this is the gift you were giving him. So, is it eight hours? Or are you going to spend more time? Or, like, what do you, what is it you were going to tell the king? Because he says, what, what do you need? Um, um, so, I'll, I'll tell him that I don't. I'll say, I do not require anything except time. Um, this will take a long time. Obviously, I've not done it this way before, so I don't know if I know exactly how no, long you do, it will fine. take. Yeah. No, you know it's eight hours, so I don't um, think that's a... Uh, oh, okay. So I'll be like, yeah, it will take eight hours, and it gives... Um, it, will, it will make things um, grow much better. The land is going to be enriched. Um, then I give him like details of like size and stuff, so I'll be like, so I'll only be able to affect part of of this room just now. But the the aim is to um, basically I'll say I'll see how how weary this makes it me and how soon I'll be able to do it again if I'll be able to do it again, sort of thing. Um, I still don't want to give him all the details because then he might be like, you're not leaving until you do it everywhere. And if yeah. you might have like plenty chambers, then, you know, it's kind of like, oh shit, I'll mm -hmm. sign myself up for a year of servitude sort of thing. By which yeah, case you'd I mean, have to go back to the start because it would end. So Yeah, bye, Aria. <laughs> it's going to be the fourth yeah. rail bridge. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I would just become his year-round gardener and I don't mm -hmm. want that. Just yeah. yeah, but like, maybe if you did some like crazy act, Creating nature, like the archdruid will favor you or something. I mean, the hydrate, like you perform, the icon. Yeah, you like perform a freaking miracle, nature. I mean, kind of she is doing that right now, right? Like, that is the attempt yeah. is to try and get this place yeah. to be able to be something that can grow food underground, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll probably be sitting down cross legged and, like, 
Do you require solitude for this? Um, I'll, I'll tell them I said not necessarily, but it might get boring for anybody to be around me at some point because this will take a while. I like says, watch. He <laughs> says, while this attempt fascinates me, I have things that require my attention. Sadly, time is against all of us in Absolutely. these dark days. You may, and it's obviously irony because of the the lighting conditions you are in. He says, I will send for you to have attendance. However, if you require anything, they will provide it. If you are able to enrich these lands, if as you see, the more you can give to the dwarves, the more indebted to you I would feel. Oh, bless his heart! I'll, I'll, I'll nod and say, I'll, I, I shall be happy to help as much as I am able. And says, this has not been unnoticed. And he kind of like mumbles away to himself a bit and oh. off off he walks, like taking Bless the... Him. So you're kind of left in the dark for a bit though, right? And it, there's maybe yeah. there's maybe like 15 to 20 minutes of you working away in the dark when eventually two other little bubbles appear and it's like um, other kind of dwarves with like big staves that have the same kind of bubble effect as the ring, only just not as big. And uh, these two people appear and they don't say anything they just stand near you as sure. if to be there you know and you can probably assume after like maybe the half an hour or whatever it's taken for them to appear it's been a these are the attendants that you now have access to to supply you with whatever you need for this so yeah i think the most important thing they'll be able to supply will be leading me on the way out mm -hmm. when I'm done. <laughs> or even just if you're gonna do it if you're gonna do it multiple times through the other chambers, right? Um yeah, as well. Yeah, or yeah. if you just wanted a drink after, you know, eight hours oh, you know, bless. right? Um, yeah. So yeah, I I think we kinda leave you kinda like again like pulling on the the power of nature and the, you know the hydro's yeah, gift to you. Yeah, I'll probably just be sitting cross-legged on the floor with one hand to my left and one hand to my right, like, more yep. or less, like, fingers digging into the soil a little bit. And I'll just be mumbling in weird languages. Yeah, saying. and I think we see, like, the kind of, like, the druidic magic almost, like, circling yeah. around, like, from, like, maybe, like, your eyes and, like, your hands all the way into, like, the earth. And there is definitely some kind of, you know... Green light. Yeah, like, we've maybe switched to, like, air quote energy vision, you know, and there's that slight, you know, spiritual energy. <laughs> spreading into the kind of the land and it's maybe just that you're kind of acclimatizing yourself to what is here already before you start to influence what you can do to it right um and we fade out from you there and we go back to the uh, the library scene with a uh, the gang and Dondra Bella and uh obviously we go back some some moments in time to kind of catch back up with the you know where to first question that was posed mm -hmm. to the gang yeah. So I, I, I just like slung out a bunch of options we had, and then when I got to the Elven Queen, Kitty showed some objection to that. She doesn't want to meet the, basically, the in laws. <laughs> no. They're not my in laws. Yeah. You, you <laughs> did kind of agree that, yeah, we're going to need to go there at least sometime anyway, I think. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. It's, but yeah, we kind of settled on we have to do it either way. Mm. Um, wrap the band aid off, correct? <laughs> yeah, We'd, but yeah, we kind of just want to know what Cromwell has to say because we did a lot of talk. Where do you want to go mean, first? Logically, if we are we're here, yeah, sure, mm. like at the H, mm -hmm. logically, I'd say that I'll move us to the other map. Don't worry, uh, what? Sorry, I'll move us to this one. Ah, yeah, true. I mean, the closest would be the elves, wouldn't it? Because they're there. No. No? Yeah, a bit further, the one next to it, on the right. Are they there? Oh, yeah. right. This is the uh, Queenswood. Okay. Yeah. 
So, so you missed the part where technically the quickest way would be use the teleporter from Forge to go back to the Citadel and then get the Citadel to send you to the Order Hall in High Rock. Yes, yes, but, yes. Um, I remember talk of teleport. Because um, this is the city where, like, you know, so, all the super uh, rich people live. Right. Hmm. Let me pull up a notepad now, right? Um, so, <laughs> That's what I was saying. Right. <laughs> so we have... I can't spell dwarf. All right, so we've got dwarf, kingdom... Hey, does it help if I do this again? Yes, mm. it does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Right, so these are all the kind of people, yeah? So Those are the got... icons, yeah. So, and we're wanting to get all of them. I mean... To help us. Uh, Pokemon. Yeah, Wizard King would be awkward. Wizard uh, King can go fuck himself. <laughs> Prince of Shadows <laughs> might frankly. also be awkward, yeah. and same with the five, because it's one of the five we want to give this to. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Um, yeah, they're so ultimately let, the goal, so, right? So I think yeah. it's quite nice that this is ordered this way, where the five are at the bottom, which is the goal you want to get to, <laughs> and the Wizard King's at the top, which is probably the hardest person to convince to help. <laughs> right, but like I say, Wizard King can go suck a massive one. So let's say the Dwarf King, the Elf Queen, we're putting Jastoria, even though we don't really know where she is now, but you know, fair enough. I would say um, maybe you should write the Dwarf King at the top of the list since he's technically that, that, already yeah, contributed. That, that's what I've done. Um, so Dwarf King, Elf Queen, Princess Jastoria, Crusader Knight, yeah, because we know where he's going to be. They're going to be down at the thingy. She. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a she. Uh, the who's the high druid again? I can't remember that one. Arya, do you want to feel that one? I'm sorry, I zoned out for a second. Uh, who's, who's the high druid? Oh, um, I know who the high druid is. One second. Can I can I choose a name? Can I invent a name? No, you can't. You know this information. If you don't remember, it's okay. I'll just tell them. Oh no! I thought you meant that. I thought you were prompting me because it was like something only I would know, sort of. Thing. It is something only okay, you no. would know, but you obviously have forgotten because it's something me, I have person. told you. Yeah. Yeah, me the person does not remember names. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. The hydroid, um, if Arya has revealed this to you guys at any point, is more of a spirit of the forest, the collective will of nature. Kind of Princess Mononoke, Mononoke style. Yeah. Oh. oh, okay, yeah. No wonder I didn't remember that. This is why it doesn't do have a name, story. because it is nature. <laughs> gotcha. It's like, oh, look, right. it, it, it's Jeff. Okay. <laughs> the Hydra. Has... Yeah, I needed something like Jeff to remember. Sorry. Okay. Where do we get LSD and D and D? <laughs> <laughs> um, right. Okay. Um, Did it with... it again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess Which so. frog collection um, do you have? <laughs> so, great gold worm. So we can put that down as the paladins as well, like the golden order. No. And uh, now, keep in mind, Scott. Like we're talking about a token of some kind that you're gonna put together as some kind of like welcome hamper for the winter mm. king right so what is it the great gold worm slash the golden order right because that's the representation of the great gold worm what are they what are they going to give that's a nice shiny stuff which is all we are right now on people's bodies fighting in the yes abyss. yes okay i see where you're going with that but we're still put on the list just yeah it's, it'll it's be the last on the list because yeah. it will be kenny like, now with the prismatic the fact, sorry I have cut you off there. But no, I get what you mean. But with yeah. the prismatic order, would that not kind of fall in with Princess Jastoria? Because, you know, they're... So I'm right in saying Jastoria made the prismatic order. She founded them, yeah. So, yeah, so nice. so they, they would be one in the same, right? Not necessarily. Actually having the support of the prismatic order and having the support of the princess are two things. Having the support of oh. one of them is one thing. Yeah, the but I guess, though, like, the prince... If you got the princess, you would hope the prismatic order would be yes, exactly. There's highly inclined to yeah. yes. I know, I know, so if an interesting coup, princess, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would <laughs> so if we're looking, if we're looking for the princess, we're no doubtfully encounter the prismatic order. Which you have met the prismatic order. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm just saying though, like, but remember, if we're doing one, I think you're, well do the other. you're forgetting though, Scott. Mm. You spoke to the prismatic order about the fact that even they don't know where your story is. Yeah, but that's because they're homies and, like, you know, we tight with Justoria, so she'll be like, hey, I was just taking a nap. 
or she's turned into a demon and we're gonna have to slay her either way <laughs> yeah like do they even know that she's weirdly like amped up on demonic power right possibly because I mean, you guys were like by the way there's loads of hell holes we've made for suk up so yeah, yeah I mean, she's good it's... at a demon of a headache yeah, yeah right <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i mean so she goes south to join up with the other side <laughs> like, who, I, I mean, they, I mean, they'd probably need to learn how to use Excel spreadsheets, and that's just a bit that yeah. no can be bothered with. So Agreed. I can understand. Um, well, I feel like a massive. No it's fine. <laughs> the, like the skill is very, very greatly appreciated on my part when people know how to use Excel and Google Sheets because it's nice. I when know how to use Excel. I just choose not to use. It. <laughs> not to wield such power. There's uh, like some... honestly, ex like my work has just given me PTSD with Excel. So, meanwhile, back in the fantasy game we're all playing, the yes. other thing I'd mentioned uh, that you just have as a collective group that have assets, as it were, was Giggity. you do have something. Crombar specifically has a mighty something, as it were. I, am... I gave away my jug. <laughs> Not your mightiest possession, but your one's most useful. For <laughs> Maybe that be the jug as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave away my jug. Uh, he didn't yeah. have people with jugs. No, he, no he, I, he took I, hits I, from the jug. I, I, are you referring to my holy symbol? <laughs> no, I'm talking about the fucking quill of the phoenix. The soul of Christ. Sorry, you have the fucking god blade. That that yeah, but that, that's not golden order. I never said it was anything to do with the Golden Order. You did. I just said you owned it. I just said this is a oh. mighty assets puzzle. The most powerful thing you as a party have currently that isn't the fact that these are main characters. Yeah, cool. And <laughs> uh, I ain't giving that to no white dragon face. Uh, Correct. Uh, we all uh, agree, uh, to be uh, honest. Uh, yeah. You could I, give um, them the product of the wish. Uh, it could be part of it anyway, but yeah. Or we could mm. just we could decide where we go first by what you want to do with which. Like if it's something to do with your tribe, we could just do that first and do whatever's on the way. Mm. Well, because um... keep in mind you could resolve any number of things with that particular thing. The only thing is you need to decide what one thing, right? You I were mean, I'm try still and... I'm I'm still leaning towards bring Benjamin to life. <laughs> Sadly, yeah, we can it's not a thing. It. Sadly, that uh, Crumbar is aware of. But 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 sadly, um, I you dreamed you. one night. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like the thing we big teeth. <laughs> um, remember, we still got the wish list. So uh, on the uh, mm. game manager. So anyone that can think of any kind of ideas, just uh, yeah, stick them. Because um, keep in mind, if you there. are struggling to find something, for example, like you know find something to convince this person to help with this. You could wish for things like that, right? That's just... You've got that ability to, like, you know... Sorry, I'm just looking through the wish list and I forgot to put your weird-handed weapon, big stick energy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not wrong. Um, <laughs> it, it, it's not wrong. Or Jesus' suggestion, apparently. Yeah, I'll, yeah, exactly, right? That's the best one, clearly. <laughs> Um, but yes, regardless of the uh, the wish list, I just wanted to remind you because I reminded everybody else that you do have that as like a party asset, even if it is yeah, yeah, full, yeah. like Sorry, they, I, 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 yeah, keep I in mind they don't know that you have this power either. This is just like a solely Crumbar knows this about the blade, mm. so it's not something they can volley you with in character either. It's just they know you got a sword when you had an axe, and it definitely looks less demonic. I had shit. an axe. What are you on about? Yeah, right. Still so, playing that card, bro. Still playing that card. You can play all you like. Straightened out, yeah. Yeah, straightened out your axe. Yeah. So sword like. <laughs> Blade's a blade, you know, shrug. Yeah. Um, but yes, that is something that I don't want you to forget that you do have access to. Um, oh, don't, trust me. I I still lay awake at night thinking about what to what use it on. The true curse. Mostly, yeah. mo mostly how to turn Kitty back into a cat. <laughs> I mean, you could wish for a second kitty no. to be the cat, right? Oh my god, we could just everyone become dogs. Everyone. No. <laughs> the god of dogs does not need more things to walk. 
<laughs> so anyway, um, what is the uh, the first step then on Crumbar's master list? Since everybody else yep. was kind of musing about the Elf Queen and obviously <laughs> Kitlith, who would need to be your guide unless you've got a second elf? Um, right. So seems reluctant to do anything about the Elf Queen that way. Personally, uh, Kitty is a bit on the no side for going to go speak to the Queen. So I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. I'll respect that. We've had our most recent run-in is with the Prismatic Order. So I would say that we should go speak to them. Cool. So... Um, can we do this in game? Because I'm getting confused. Yeah. I think I should prismatic or you could probably go straight to their headquarters in one step. Uh, could we? we could probably portal Cause... straight to uh, Stories Where... Palace. Is that not? Is that not? Um, that's that's the one that's. Uh... So you you would need to forge is connected to the citadel. There, that yeah. But the citadel has an order hall mm. in Horizon. Mm -hmm. So I say go to Horizon. Okay. Because I don't want to piss off Kitty. If she ain't ready, hey, look, if she ain't ready for that ship, we 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 should respect that. Is it a mild irritation or is it like? It's a. I ran away from home and they didn't know where I was for a very long time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I, th I think it will be the case of like the prodigal daughter returns. So, I mean, so it's uh, not uh, let's try and keep all this in character chat, shall we, so that nobody gets confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each other. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so, someone wanted to just ask me where, where I think I, we should go. Dundra Bill already asked what's the first steps, and then Bastille said, "I feel like the Elf Queen's maybe a good place to start." Kitty then led in with, mm -hmm, "Maybe not." <laughs> um. Okay, good. Especially since Kitty's already spoken up. I think Crumbar would just... Obviously, because I still feel a bit like Kitty's pissed off at me, so I want to get in a good book, so maybe, like, I'd just be like, Yes, uh, I agree. Maybe the Elf Queen isn't the best choice. We should go with who we've already had counters with. Why not try the Prismatic Order? They might have also had more of a lead on where Gestoria could be. Uh, I've probably never heard of them, or, or I don't know much about them, so I'll just look to Dondra Bell to see if she recognises that as a good idea. Yeah, she's looking sceptical, I think is the best way to put it. She's like, hmm, hmm is all she kind of says to that. Hmm. That's it, that's like just one of those very kind of almost dismissive sounding noises like exhaling and it's like I'll wear buttons like you think there's a problem with that well chair shrugs actually. why would they help appease a dragon I mean my king was ready for locking you up moments ago. So we are the only re we are the reason your king is still breathing. Oh, he knows. And he has to deal with that. So I feel like that's, you know, she kind of waves her hand. Like, oh, they say you didn't do good by dwarves. She kind of nods at you. But like her face kind of softens a bit like worry. And she says, but just because you brought back the Dwarf King, keep in mind somebody wanted him dead. I don't know, it's not these uh, prismatic folks. <laughs> I just kind of like, like laugh away and be like, the prismatic order self, Justoria, there's no way she would want this to have happened. Mm -hmm. I'm a lot more likely to be the Wizard King. And she kind of looks at you and she says, it's scary. She's like, while I agree, I definitely think the King, Wizard Leia as he may be, 
definitely has more of an issue with the uh, my king. Uh, however, I mean the prismatic order was founded by his daughter. Let's not forget that. Have you ever met Justoria? Nope. Hmm. Let's say her and the king are not seeing things eye to eye. She kind of leaned in. Oh. Like, very gossipy now. Grandma. And I'll be like, <laughs> I'll, be like I'll, I'll just say, I'll like, hmm. I'll tell you more when we're on our journey together. And just grin. She throws a book at you. <laughs> <laughs> like one. I mean, I think there's only big books that are here, so yeah. yeah. Um, can I roll for defense? Can, <laughs> can I roll for defense? You can do a deck save if you want. Yay! I get no, knocked you out get, by you, a book. No, you just get hit by a book. You don't get knocked out by it, but it, it does hit. <laughs> it's um, like, hits me and I'm just like, bum. I'm just like, he's dropping knitting needles. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drop my knitting net and needles like, bitch, you want to throw down? It's like, damn it, those were um, imaginary. My imaginary scarf. <laughs> um, but yeah, you, just, she just, does that to you and she's yeah. like, you shouldn't go teasing people. She goes, you're telling me that, you know, Mr. King Perfect and his perfect daughter aren't so perfect, eh? That's almost a swear word there, but yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd, I'd just reply with, do you know any family that is? I guess that's thinks about it. Uh, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose. Mm. Hmm. But but anyway. that's, not the, that's not the point. Hmm. What, I mean... How do you know? How do we we've, know what? Yeah, we've worked with Justoria and she's been very helpful in trying to defend the lands down south. That's accurate. So is she... Is that, is that what she's doing now? Is she down, you know, at this golden place, fighting everything? We don't know where she is at the moment. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Princess stuff, probably. Kind of odds. You know, like she's yeah. pleased with that answer. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I'd be like, yes, most likely princess stuff. Yeah, every day in the party has a shiver and thinks about her lying, twitching in her demonic state after, you know, <laughs> breathing in hellhole energy. Getting her nails done, yeah. yeah <laughs> Just close. You know, <laughs> doing her hair, yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we, um, obviously, you don't know this, uh, the wonders that they have seen. Um, let's see if I can find all the stuff that they had for it. So... Here's Chistoria, right? This is for Bastiel, obviously. Um, here's Chistoria again, right? And, uh, Classy ladies, you can see. Here's a uh, Chistoria again. <laughs> can tell the GM quite likes Chistoria with the amount of pictures, but anyway. It's primarily <laughs> because when you've got somebody that looks so good in really beautiful <laughs> outfits. Yeah, kind of. I, 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 I love Justoria. Yeah, yeah, right. She's fucking awesome. Um, so I mean, she's the only one that's not Zadreka, So you know. Yeah, <laughs> the only one. Uh, so that's a thing. And then, thanks, in part, to the players needing help, which is you know how it goes. Sadly, sometimes, she then kind of turned not so princessly. And I'm trying to find the art for that. Did I share it in World Twenty? I'm sure you did. So. I thought I did as well. Um, but I don't seem to see it anywhere, which is interesting. So I'll have a wee look for that and I'll see if I can show that to a <coughs> Bastille during the course of the year. Uh... Definitely quite the sight. Oh yeah. Um, but no, I can't I can't find that apparently. Um, although I did thought that was a handout I had access to. I'll see if I can find it as other art. Yeah, boo, boo. But yeah. Back in Discord, if it's in Discord, but yeah, it's okay. I'll have it. I'll have it somewhere because it's a piece of art that I've obviously kept for reasons. Um, but yes, the uh, 
the princess went through some physical alterations, shall we say. Um, Is it something like horror? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Let's just, just then... summarise that to yeah, I think. That's definitely <laughs> a way to say it. Um, yeah, right. Yeah, like basically the hell holes that have opened up, right? That are like you've got the big abyssal breach, and then across the world, just story had noticed as well. By the way, there's a bunch of hell holes that are around here. Let's go check them out. Go investigate them for me. I'll help you. Maybe my dad's up to stuff. Was the gist of their little story, yeah. and then she appeared. Uh, like they took her to the, the hell holes, and she thought, right, cool. Let's try and undo these bullshit rituals, and I'll, you know, shut it down. To do that, though, she had to absorb the energy from the hellhole to like drain it so it would close that took her like weeks to recover from the first time um, and then you know the party summoned her to do it like again and yeah she seemed to recover overnight from at that time but during that like you know her kind of passing out after uh, absorbing the hellhole it seemed um, a lot more ritualistic with her like having weird big ethereal chains pulling at it uh, wrapping around her and her kind of like absorbing it all and yeah it was quite a big deal actually and then she kind of fell unconscious in this altered form that everyone was like well that's weird and then, uh, <laughs> right. yeah and then the um, like she reverted back eventually uh, oh. and then she said that she would meet them at this other hellhole that they were going to travel to uh, they travelled by foot I uh, couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or something I think they did I went into this other hellhole and they got there past a dead giant that's head was like in a river um, Toes are expensive yep, Expensive toes <laughs> on display, you know um, God, I forgot about how horrible that was and um, <laughs> yeah, like that was just a, a very weird weird situation, they got to the, the hellhole and it was all like closed over and like ash kind of everywhere and like debris and King Magna was standing there and saying, and why are yous here? And then uh, they were all like, mm, everybody don't say anything about the door. There we go. I found it. I don't know. I do like to th think I don't copy that. Right, okay. I've got one to do first of all, then I'll do it. Right. Cool. I do like to think this, this is what your story looks like now. <laughs> But <laughs> it's, maybe why, it's maybe why she's busy. Yeah. <laughs> In actual fact, though, it's <laughs> that one. There you go. I mean, yes. Right. Yeah, that, that was the one. I had to go back a long time in Discord for that, by the way. <laughs> I honestly thought it was in Roll20, I tried that, but evidently not. Yeah. yeah. Here we are, I guess. But yeah, there you go, uh, Bastille. Enjoy. She might actually be getting her nails done because she could really do with it. I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, there's a lot that into the uh, the handouts just now. Um, just so that they've got it for future reference because I definitely should have it because technically that is something I should have had for a while. You know, <laughs> session 52. Anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, how do you feel about that one, Bastille? Pretty badass. Um, hmm. I mean, um, what I would take from that is that this is a person they all trust implicitly that has become this. Um, I actually almost relate to her by being this kind of occult, uh, almost uh, entity. Um, Don't judge a book by its cover. Deep down, she's still the same person. <laughs> <laughs> the opposite of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like reasonable on the outside. And then there we go. Fuck, Bam. The I love how there's a question mark. I mean, <laughs> fair, I think. Um, but yeah, so we've got her in there now, finally. Good. I'll add her just underneath the uh, many Justorias. So she is definitely the most documented icon, I think, that I have here. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that doesn't necessarily solve um, the dilemma you are having about Dondrabella doesn't really seem to trust uh, the Prismatic Order if they work for Justoria. You saying Justoria is pretty bitchin'. You obviously have chosen to omit the part where she became a demon. You know? Yeah. Mm. They, 
I haven't technically asked exactly that. Oh, no, asked, she didn't. Yeah. yeah, not at all. I'm just yeah. saying you are yeah. choosing to admit it. That's all. It's, it's no lies, yeah. but it was just, yeah. Yep. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess I'd say we should probably just go for the elves first. Purely because there's a time crunch and they have the most like immediately accessible and formidable army. So they could aid with the hell holes like immediately if we get them on our side. So here's a thing, there is no elven army. There is the elf queen. And that is it. Elves are free to go become warriors and fight in the name of the elf queen if they want, by the way. But there is no official um, elf army. That's like a beehive. Can opposite of Sparta. Yeah, right. Yeah, this could have been Sparta and the queen put <laughs> you down a hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, it's a... Another reason why, obviously, the Elf Queen would say publicly if ever asked, but nobody would ever be brave enough to, that she's clearly not at war because she has no warriors. Mm. Well, oh, I see. I see. Right. <laughs> like military infrastructure. Whether or not the Dark Elves have an entire army is a, another story, but that would be a, you know, independent group. Um, I see. Hmm. Okay, so who, who do you think? I mean, we should do it by time, right? Because we are in a rush. To save the planet. But yeah, either way, you can remember. Keep in mind, you can always, you'll need to go the quickest way from Forge to anywhere that isn't staying in Forge would be to the Citadel, and the Citadel mm -hmm. can go to any of the main cities that the Kingdom control, which is where all the Order Halls are. Mm -hmm. So you do have a, so, a way to get yeah, to like places quickly. Yeah. Definitely going to the Citadel then. Yep, that would yeah. be stop one. Let's get there first, and then maybe we can get news on what's been going on in each city and act on that. You know, that could be a show. Yeah. Would so? Here's the thing, though. Like, what about each city would make you choose or not choose it? Right, for example, because when you get um, to the citadel, what is the like? What is the the ideal person to go after first? Right, I don't mean by being at the citadel. I just mean who would be your dream get? Is it still the elf queen? I for me, I'd want the story. Right, okay. Because I love yeah. Gistoria. So then, who do you think the best person to ask about Gistoria's whereabouts would be? Still probably the Prismatic Order. There you go. What about the Crusader Knight? Is that again, sorry? That's still? Crusader Knight? Crusader Knight's at the uh, Citadel, but the Crusader Knight is in... She, sorry, was in charge of the Wizard King's army. She had nothing to do with Gistoria. Mm. Like... Yeah, so the Wizard King had his royal army of Magna, Dwarf King has his stuff, the Elf Queen has herself, and, uh, you know, the Golden Order have the Paladins, etc. And the Storia has the Prismatic Order, right? That's like, mm. however these kind of like, divvied up. Um, but yeah, like, you could go back to the Citadel, go to Horizon, go from Horizon to go speak to the Prismatic <coughs> Order, and, because that's where they're based, and try and speak to Prisma again, if he's wanted. Um, the one that looks like Jodie Whittaker. So, what about who do we think would react more to us already having the Dwarven King's crown? Because then it, it could just be like easier to go to someone, and, and the second they see it, they'll be like, "Oh shit! Of course I'm down with that." We heard there was an attack on the Dwarf King's life. Did he suffer in the end? Smoke's pipe. <laughs> what does no one like him? <laughs> That's, I mean, who knows, right? Um, dwarves are an insular people. May as well just go in order of who will join us with what we already have. Yeah, so I know that obviously Crombar wants Gistoria. Um, that seems to be like his thing to get to oh, Gistoria. Gistoria, sl Gistoria slash Prismatic Order. Yeah. yeah, all that. Cool. What about everybody else? Problem with Gistoria is she is the hardest one to find to do anything with. That's the one real problem with that. Prismatic mm. order, maybe not, but prismatic order would be less likely to help without Gistoria. Also, uh, why would um, Gistoria maybe not publicly speak out against her father? Oh, wait, I think I just said it. <laughs> Remember, she swore you guys all to secrecy? Yeah. So, uh, what does this look like? This is the UN against that one guy that thinks he's in charge, right? Yeah. In a way. Even she, though it's got nothing to do with him, it's actually just a peacekeeping treaty to save the yeah. dwarves and dragons, but yeah. Yeah. It might look like a Let's Unite Everything Against Magna. 
Well, that's another point, actually, with the dragons. Like, we could just go for whoever will is will willingly accept that as a as a good solution, as well. Uh, Are there any dragons we over in the far east? Uh, there is the so see the other one. Where is it? Let me go point at it. Just one of the elves could be getting bothered by dragons, possibly, or aware that they they need be nice to them or something. Mm. <laughs> Not really, right? So the the green would be over the east, right? Yeah. And but it's a veggie, so they're okay, kind of thing, or it's <laughs> keeps to itself. Roll me either history or arcana, and if somebody wants to help you with this musing thought in character, let me know because yeah, I feel like you'd need to roll to learn more about that. Yeah, I'll definitely assist to that. We're not really. Right. You probably you probably can't because you you weren't taught any of that shit unless in fact no like you've spent time in Ordax library that's fine that's totally okay. fine you can help yeah okay. right so advantage and Oof. yeah so that's it's reasonable right a sixteen is decent yeah. but the um so you know enough to know that there are rumors that the green has tried to court the elf queen that's it what. Ooh, sassy. Awesome. Uh, hmm. Most Whoa. people assume it is a plot the Five have to undermine the Elf Queen. Well, that means the Elf Queen is like a really good bargaining chip to get her on our side immediately. From, at the very least, she may have a better idea exactly of what the dragons would like as well. I think what we need to think about is if we are going to go to the Elf Queen, how are we going to convince Ketty? Or better um, yet, how are you going to convince Kate? Just throw gold coins in front of the path every so far. Because <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, that, laughs> uh, world is on. That, that kind of helps, you know. The, the apocalypse is happening. Yeah. Uh, okay, and you really think that'll work? There's the no. reverse psychology of the quicker we go and get it done, we'll we'll be <laughs> we'll never need to be there again. Hmm. I mean, you also don't really know why I don't want to go back. Oh, like we look to. We hmm. don't. And it would be kind of handy to know before we walk into a yeah. trap. <laughs> yeah, because you could just like take them a couple of steps into the woods and fuck off, and they would be lost forever if the elf queen wished it. So yeah, <laughs> they do kind of like yeah. the thing is, they, they, Our... unless she's like hire another player to come and join you guys and be an elf. Well, in that case, mm. after all the humming and hers and yours, yours and Birgans and. I will uh, turn around to Kitty and ask her, is there any reason in particular you wish to avoid the Elf Queen? I just sort of look at my feet, sort of shuffle a little bit, like, not the Queen, no. Queen's fine. The, the community is then? Something appears to be holding me back. I just sort of sigh like, oh, the day has come. Didn't want to tell people this, but I basically ran away from home. So, yeah, just want to avoid the family. And I, 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 I just kind of like, you know, give her kind of look of, understanding and just be like, well, I ran away from my tribe, I technically, so I completely I mean, yeah, understand. You also killed them when you found them again, so <laughs> And I just be like, that wasn't my tribe when I found them again and you know it. <laughs> uh, see yeah. for like Bastille and Arya and Reach, um like you see Don Drabella sat at her table like with her like her hand like her two hands like underneath her chin supporting it as she's just staring kind of googly eyed at both of them oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <I forgot>. yeah. <laughs> she's just not she don't want to interrupt with hand puppets because they're too close for that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah sorry carry on yeah I was just like yeah so I've said that and I'm like but I'm sure that your family are whoever will be happy to see you again, surely. I've not spoken to them in about uh, 
eight years, so who knows? Hmm. That's quite some time. For you, Isn't maybe. <laughs> yes, elves. I keep forgetting sometimes. Do you mind if I ask, what made you run away? Didn't want to get into the family business. Of? You know, kind of lean in, kind of like, okay. Yeah, I'll crane my neck up, like, <laughs> yeah. it's going to be... <laughs> it's the subtle no. robot noises of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the very, very subtle no noises. Uh, and, uh, and I'll just sort of mumble. Making the gowns for the royal family. <laughs> what guns? Gowns. Oh, oh guns. guns. I, thought, I, thought, I, 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 I thought she said guns as well. I'm like, really? That's right. Are you? <laughs> yeah, I was like... Guns. Yeah. I just kind of... Um, like smirk a little bit and just be like, <clears throat> I I was not expecting that, but yes, I can't see you as a dressmaker. You're too adventurous. And while it's not exactly frowned upon for you not to join your family business, mine weren't exactly too pleased. So. so rich. I guess so. I mean, do elves care about money? I mean, I do, but no, and, and <laughs> just gesture towards your backpack. But I've had to live on the streets, man. You know. You've got half the street in your backpack. <laughs> 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 <Yeah. laughs> I I will just kind of walk up and I will put like a hand on Kitty's shoulder. And just say it to him like, well, I'm sure your parents would be proud of who you've become. And if not, so be it. They're not who we're going there for. Well, they're probably how we're going to get in. <laughs> that is a good point. Crumbar hangs his head in shame. Face to black. I <laughs> say. Thunderbell engine. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> she says mostly to herself. <laughs> and I just go like, her parents? What? <laughs> she leans by and just shrugs. Hey, if it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I just kind of like point to my teeth and be like, yeah, not a good idea. <laughs> well, you got big fuck off tusk. Yeah, just like in the oh. profile. Yeah. I'll put it in. Yep. I will put it in the thing. We did just lose. We just oh, yeah. lost Aria. Yeah, like that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it'd be like, uh, you know. It'd be like a reindeer trying to get through a door. <laughs> The door being the face of her parents, apparently. <laughs> yes, the metaphorical door of faces. I'm so confused right now, guys. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, meanwhile, back in the, the actual conversation, so you've got the the scene where you've obviously exchanged the, the parents are probably how we're going to get to see the queen, though. Will be the, mm. I guess, the, the part we jump back in on. And else got anything mm. they want to add to that scene? No, nothing in particular. I do have something I want to go with. I just mean, because obviously there's still this air of Kitty's reluctance, right? So I feel like other people could weigh in with the, mm. you know, supportive, not just leave it up to Crumbar to convince her, right? Mm -hmm. If other people uh, have things they could suggest to convince her. Dondra Bella knows nothing about anybody's personal situation, so it's not like she's going to weigh in. She's just trying to get the orc and the, the elf to kiss. That's, that's oh, she's what? just happy to be there. Right. What is more important, though? Saving the world or dodging the parents? That's debatable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask any main character ever. <laughs> but yeah. How does that play out? It's just one of the things where it's like, it's, we won't have trouble getting there. 
So it's not like I'm, well, as far as I'm aware, I'm not, like, banned. I guess we'll find out if we never emerge from the forest. <laughs> <laughs> like the <laughs> Nervous laughing. <laughs> Okay, well, if you're up to try, I think we're good to go. Hmm. We could. Uh, uh, sorry, you go first, mate. We could find like an incentive for you, another one, like something to cool to steal. If that was sweet in the deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, all right. I'll um, you know, just turn to Kitty then and go. Well. I'll leave it up to you for where we go, but I don't want to go anywhere that you're not ready for. Uh, we've all got to face our parents at some point, I guess. Crumbar just kind of shudders at the thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> also, poor, poor Eric. Like, I know, right? where's his lost parents? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes! <laughs> I was just in fancy elven clothing that my family makes, and he could have had some. Yeah. You just know you'd end up naked again. So. Yeah. I mean, it's not wrong. <laughs> like, as soon as he gets some nice clothes, it's just the next time we see him, is just fucking naked somehow. <laughs> Shrugs. What are you going to do? <laughs> um, but yeah, so. Yeah, what's uh, Kitleth's reply to, I guess, this, that? Then, like, just that kind of almost fairly kind of sweetness from a uh, crumbar, right? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, be nice at times. <laughs> at times. But like, he's basically said, pick where we go. This is kind of the gist of it. So, what's a uh, Kitleth response to that? Well, I guess we'll go see the Elf and Queen and my parents. Thunderbell right. like like stands up and she's like. She's never met the Elf Queen. And she just walks off. <laughs> she's going to go pack a bag, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, she's got well. a few things to kill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she needs to like sort out her, her shit anyway, right? She's got like affairs to attend to and make sure that, you know, her husband-to-be is uh, willing to, yes. <laughs> to wait. Um, <laughs> and you want to grab her before she leaves the scene? Or he's, he's good to leave it amongst yourselves. Uh, I guess we'll tell her we'll meet her back here. She kind of just like, she's like, I mean, where else would you be? She kind of laughs as she leaves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely pretty flippant, this one. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, she wanders off. You just have like eight hours to kill, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I had something I wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah, I want to go and find a good vessel for this crown. So I'm going to try and basically get a bank vault for my bag. So <laughs> like a metal box. So like, with basically things. like a secure lock box, essentially, you want. Yeah. Bender. <laughs> it's not like 20 feet square. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, yeah. Cause that's what it sounded like at <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think yeah. it's going to be too difficult quitty. to find a lock box. Yeah, I think that's, that's reasonable. You could go find some kind of person to attend to that. Plus a vault we're all going to be camping in at night when we're in dodgy <laughs> places. <laughs> well I want a big one for like, anything else we might collect that needs to be kept up of like yeah. assassin's hands or something yeah. and I'll use my artisan's uh, forge thing to craft a custom lock and key okay. and I'll, I'll, I'll buy whatever to like chain that to my wrist and stuff. <laughs> so basically you want like the football suitcase um, yeah. <laughs> essentially um I don't see why you couldn't have a, you know, like a kind of dwarven luggage trunk thing you carry. It's just the problem is it's going to take mm -hmm. up an arm, like to to hold as you walk. Oh, for my back, like chain. Could we not get the bag that the gnome had? That was awesome. Yeah, just go find the gnome and then convince him. I, I, like, I will. You just want the you bag more me. than him. The only thing is that that bag had stuff in it that even he didn't know about. Even better. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> um... So we're getting nearly yeah. eight kitty. Yup. <laughs> um, yeah, see the thing is though, I just I questioned your ability to carry that. That's the only thing best to like <laughs> Like that's that's like just saying, <laughs> let's just take this vampire's house with us and see how things go. 
I hear you. I mean, oh, you could always look for something magical, like a bag of holding, right? It'd actually be brilliant, because we would definitely end up finding a vampire right? again in the yeah. future. So whenever he comes home, we're there yeah. waiting for him. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you just hear him, like, unlocking the sarcophagus and climbing in. Sorry, it's getting early. Closes the coffin <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. Get used at night. Um, yeah, so... I know it'll tear and stuff, till. I mean... Yeah, but like a mundane box versus like a magical extra planar dimension is, you know, I guess, what do you think safer? Yeah. I think you do just yeah, want a but... standard strong mm -hmm. enforced backpack, basically, don't you? With a lock. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a bag of holding with a lock. But how much is that going to cost? I've only got 45 plus. Yeah, I've um, got some. I was gonna say I don't, I don't really think like you could maybe pick up like something magical like that. Like you could get like a probably a chest of holding right in a horizon, right? You could probably just ask the prismatic order for yeah. something like that, especially if they were gonna help. Yeah, all right. I'll get the chest when right. the time comes. Right, and we can just assume it's like a fucking luggage case of holding or some shit <laughs> if you want it to feel more secure, right? Um. <laughs> Do you mean like a, a proper oldie style piece of luggage? Yeah. Uh, for now, I guess I'm going to need something to carry the crown in in the meanwhile. Uh, so I'll just go find... Just, just wear it. Who's going to try you, right? <laughs> and the Dwarven King, don't you know? The disrespect. Like this, right? Only like reinforced more and magical. Like I don't, yeah. I don't see why you couldn't get something like that that you could strap to your back, yeah. Yeah. I'll get a regular one for now and then I'll see in Horizon if I... Magic one. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it being made out of metal or something from here, right? It's probably more likely to happen to be made out of metal. Um, yeah. So yeah, you can get some of that. I, like that. I don't know, it depends who you ask. Okay. Um, I will probably go to a smith, some maker of lock boxes. Okay. Uh, let me find a list of things then, so I can figure out how much a chest costs. Because... No idea. <laughs> Quite frankly, um, I'm very scared and paranoid about this thing getting stolen. Understandable. It's like the crown yeah. of the dwarf king. Yeah, it would <laughs> be an awkward conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that gift you gave us? Uh, mm, about that. A um, little bit. All right. So we'll just call it a chest. And apparently, there's according to this backpack, barrel, basket. Pocket, bottle, chest, 12 cubic feet, 300 pounds of gear. Dear God, that seems a lot. Um, what? Yeah, that seems That's a lot. just so many words. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look, see. Is there something like cubic a Cubic feet, though. 30 cubic feet. Three tens. Um, three, three, three. So that's three foot uh, square, just over. Seems a bit big, doesn't it? Um, I suppose if it's volume, it's not, though. But yeah, anyway. It isn't really. Yeah, it isn't massive, massive. It's mm -hmm. quite big. Like I couldn't carry it myself. But yeah. if I was a robot to carry it, I would expect to be able to carry it. Yeah. I still feel like I mean, we're, I'm going to go with think... whatever makes sense for fitting in a suitcase, right? Like a generic looking yeah. suitcase. I think is what we're going to go with, and yeah. I think it's going to cost you ten gold at the most. Probably not even if you roll well enough. Yeah. All right. So you can just pay ten gold, or you could maybe try and schmooze them. Um. And this is this is going to be like metal, is it? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Nice. Yeah, that's alright. No, I'll pay for the yeah, craftsmanship. Cool. Yeah, cool. You get a bitchin' dwarven piece of backpack luggage, I guess. Reinforced yeah. um, I... luggage, I guess you could call it, right? And it was okay. ten, ten gold, or one platinum. I wonder what dwarves would take more joy in. The ten coins of gold or one coin of platinum? Probably the platinum, right? While ten seems more, they know platinum's worth more. Mm. <laughs> like the trinket. Yeah, it's just mm. also shinier, right? So, to them, I guess they'd prefer that. Like, I was looking for um, a picture that just had a platinum treasury. I just couldn't find one that was as cool as the one for the dwarf king that I showed you, because I would have preferred oh. it to all have been platinum. But I'm like, nah, we're gonna go for gold. Maybe the walkway was platinum. We'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> just to be absolutely ridiculous with how much money he has um, but yeah you can have that sound sorted cool. updated on your character sheet 
Is that yes, or maybe, or in progress? Uh, progress. I was going to put it in the treasure bit in the bio. Yeah, that's right. fine. Yeah, that works for me. Um, Alright. Cool. Uh, the crown probably weighs two, so just feel free to add that to your normal inventory, and you can put in, I don't know, like a capital R at the front, because it's in the reinforced luggage section, if you wish, um, for things that are there. Um, so that if I'm stealing from you in the future, I know what's in the reinforced luggage and what isn't. Uh, as for that though, do you want to give me some rules for your magical locking, then? I'm assuming you're going to just spend some hours doing that too, because again, it doesn't take you eight hours to find somebody to buy a suitcase from. Same goes for everybody else. If you've got anything you want to do for the next, like, you know, eight hours. Mm. Mm. I think I need a long rest. Yeah, I need a long rest to get my spell slots back. You could just go for a sleep if you wanted. Yeah. Um... But to be fair, like, depending on how many times Arya is going to do this ritual, like, I think after eight hours you maybe have to go find her. Mm -hmm. I think for now I will take a long rest. Um, cool. Let me deal with that as a group, though, because I feel like we're all probably going to long rest at the same time, really, ultimately, right? So I'll deal with that narratively, and if people have to individually do it on their own, that's fine. But I'd rather try and sort out the group, if possible. I, who else is doing what else? Like, Ketlis or Reach? Anything else coming up? Uh, probably just seeing what the shops have on offer, like just seeing what they want to sell, kind of thing. Yeah, Nothing so in particular. Just sell or give away. Yeah, kind of free samples. Yeah. Your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> See, the trick yeah. was let her fill the bag first at the start of the game, so she was always at her weight limit, and then she'll she never be able to steal anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. If there's anything you actually want, though, like let me know, because like I don't see why the dwarven capital city couldn't have something, right? Um, it's just other than that, it's just shops, right? Yeah. Yeah, because you know it is the, the where all the dwarves live, I guess. So, anything you're looking for specifically? No. Okay. Just as a to sort of just just to wander. Yeah. Yeah, and take in. No, that's fine. Yeah, you can wander about a bit and kind of take in what what there is and. I mean, there's probably dwarf kids that are like, you know, staring at you in wonder because they've probably all got like nursery rhymes that involve elves. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. Who knows the contents of such things and whether or not they're PC or not, you know? But, okay. um, but yes. Um, yeah, I think that's just, maybe you get a couple of kids whispering and giggling off to the side, you know, as they're, they're kind of like... Maybe some of them try and like follow you and do that thing where like when you stop and turn around and they all like hide behind you know the nearest thing or act super awkwardly casual or they're like picking <laughs> stuff up from the shops you know and looking at them and then putting them down. Um, They'll do that and then I'll uh, then I'll stealth. <laughs> yeah. And I'll be behind them and be like boo. <laughs> <laughs> I was like and then I'll go behind them and split their throats. <laughs> <laughs> No, they, they, I mean, they probably do all, like, absolutely bolt, right? As much as they possibly can. Like, you know, and possibly laughing at the one that got the fright. Do you know what I mean? Um, as they all kind of, like, run. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> there's some uh, toying with the uh, the kids. Obviously, so one of the elderly shop owners is just, going, just shaking their head, you know. Played by that exact guy from the Lord of the Rings from the, the Shire. Um, yeah. The uh, old man, whatever his name was. Um, did he have a name? Uh, he probably did, right? It was Tolkien's oh, world, yeah, so he probably yeah. definitely had a game uh, name, sorry. But it was just a guy that always just to shake his head at hobbits, you know, even though he was a hobbit himself. Um, yeah. Even though clearly he was mischievous when he was young, you can tell that from every reaction he has until his wife like, comes up and like hits him and tells him to get on with stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think we have that scene play out then. Uh, Reach, any, any business in Forge? It isn't really because I've got everything I need and so mm -hmm. on, so no, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. Excellent. Um, so I think then we go back to Arya, right? And we just assume eight hours has passed, right? And, you know, you have this being pulled into the earth feeling, right? You're sat there, your hands are in the ground, you feel energy, like, filling you and then pouring from you through your hands into the ground um, to the point where if you were looking, like you can probably feel it 
through nature itself, but you can kind of like feel the fact that you're like seeding the place with like, you know, fertility, as it were, um, in the area that you're in. Uh, you know that the spell is working. Um, you definitely do feel that your connection to like nature isn't so easily accessed here, but like a more primal source of power is accessed here. Um, yeah. Something a lot more familiar to your more recent developments being the volcano. So you're okay. um, like, put it this way, before the the process of you casting the spell ends, um, you could amp up the power by pulling on the volcano's power, which is like yeah. is like saying I could plug my phone into charge from this 25 meter USB cable or I could just use my 1 meter fast charge cable and plug into this socket here stick it in that man's chest so right like what's the thoughts are you keeping in mind that your fiery nature is what is like giving you this new perspective And keeping in mind that the reason the soil was in any way usable is because of the volcano. Mm. So basically I have the opportunity to pull strength from fire? Did I understand that right? Yeah, from the like the massive source of elemental energy being the fire. Yeah. Mm. As gotcha. opposed to like trying to draw your power from the wild woods and the high druid that's so far away. Okay. Because keep in mind, like, if we look at the world map, right, if I close down the, that just now, and, uh, right, so you're here in the forge, right, so it's a massive volcano, and, like, the wild woods is, like, this massive area. So, yeah. like, you're trying to yeah, pull, like, 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 that's, like, I wouldn't say it's the source of your power, but, like, that is where, like, the high druid spirit coalesces, right? So, yeah. you having the ability to shape nature comes from the high druid, and they have bestowed upon you gifts of nature. You're trying to use them up here, but there is a massive source of power lying there that you feel that and you I could can pull draw from. from. Yep, you don't have to like disconnect from the hydro in any way. This is just like it's sure. almost like a second pool of power. Extra. Yeah, and you can like amp up your ritual with that if you want. Oh yeah. Yeah, that would go be for really it. cool. Yeah. Excellent. Do you want to give me an arcana roll uh, with advantage and a nature roll with advantage? Um, one second, because I clicked something wrong. Toggle advantage. And I'm going to assume the rest of you are going to collect all your shit together and head to go see the king to ask him to use the portal to go to the citadel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I assume Sounds that was like the, like, the, the ending yeah. of the plat. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll come back Just to you in a second. Oh. Unless you have anything else to do, you can think about that, but you can let me know. Nah, as far as I'm concerned, we're kind of yeah. done here after a nice rest stop. Cool. Uh, yeah. If I, I know the church is like two hours away. If i got time, I'll, I'll go look into Hella. Maybe talk. just sit down and meditate there. Uh, yeah. So... Okay, we're, we're, I'm just pretty much wrapping up anyway, so if we... Um, that was my my plan. So yeah, Ari, you obviously pull on this a uh, kind of new source of power. You feel kind of like invigorated, um, like you can feel the heat like permeate all of you in a very kind of warm, you know, energy like glow. And yeah, like you can you can feel that you can like push this power through the ritual way more. Um, you have my wisdom save now? Just normally? Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> wisdom. I uh, know. It's fine. It's fine. It's a good one for me, technically. It's a good roll, eh? Maybe, regardless. Uh, so um, I didn't mean to. Yeah. It's okay, lovely. I'm still going to take the first for now. It's still really good. Um, yeah, so that energy, like, and again, pours through you. It starts to, like, almost act like a car that's kind of like, you know, going out of control a bit because, you know, it's more than you've ever channeled ever before. Um, like, possibly, uh, from the <laughs> the perspective of the two guys near you, the attendants, you catch fire. 
to them oh and they, they like what? step back um and then like all this power starts to like funnel down your hands into the ground um infusing it we get that nice camera shot on cg where it all goes through all the roots and stuff that are coming from Arya. um all infused with like fire like making it spread much quicker um all of the crops that are in the immediate vicinity already like fully bloom instantaneously and the lingering thought in Arya's mind after all this when she opens her eyes and they're glowing with fire kind of pouring out of them you hear in your mind hello mistress and we end the session there uh, uh, she is the mistress so can I tell which language that was in was that in infernal 100%. 100%. Actually, am I being an idiot? Yes, I'm being an idiot, sorry. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, what would you like to call the session? Um, well, I was going to say bye to a friend, but obviously we didn't. Out of Reach would have been the time for that session title. Oh, I <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think well, no, hello. tomorrow's gonna be with that. Like yeah. next one's gonna be with yeah. Adam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, I, I yeah. honestly, I like hello, mistress. Oh, yeah, so the up is the end. No, that's really problem in it. But yeah. yeah, but it's a good that's... one to be like. Where does this hello, mistress thing come up? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not the worst. Yeah, yeah. Go for that. MDL's yeah. got any other opinions for it? Or are we good? Best deal. Anything? Uh, no, I don't know. Yeah, no. Okay, happy with Hello Mistress? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, well, that's at least three votes, so it's Hello yeah. Mistress. Exactly. And now, let's talk about... I don't about... know why I didn't vote. I, just, I was just nodding my head. Here. Okay, yeah. I <laughs> definitely yeah, didn't see that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right, uh, let's talk about goals then, shall we? So, it is oh. one sorted, is it not? Uh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Right, so the Do first we... one on the list is find the white dragon. We've not got that yet, right? Oh. Uh, investigate who or what the mistress of the flame is. That seems pertinent. Um, acquire a new party member, Don Javella. That would say that's done. Yeah. Yay! Right, it seems like, I mean, you just came up with a plan, but she's like, no, that could work. Yeah, like, uh -huh. so, okay. you can chuck that in the completed goals list. Um... Um, I'll do that, guys. Cool. So okay. that's uh, at least 600 XP, right? At least. Yeah. Uh, right, we've got get the dwarves to help the citadel. Uh, I mean, that's in I progress, think... right? Right, that is definitely like, if you can pull this off, that'll happen. So, yeah. 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 And then get the Hellblade's assistance with hunting vampire. Um, that's, that's probably up. We're done with that, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Sophie, I know you need to like shoot off now, uh, based on time. Do you want to throw in any two cents about goals or new goals that you think should be important just now? Um, I mean, I think we're going to be closer to finding out that investigate who, what the mistress of the flame is. That might be next episodes. Um, but I can't think. Uh, uh... Form the UN, I guess, is a. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe like technically, know. it's the F U N. Yeah, C U N. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe you could break that down into like the individual oh, stages of it. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's missing out all the fun, as he just mentioned. <laughs> yes. Um, so bad. Uh, yeah, I think um, maybe like try and get an audience with the Elf Queen is maybe the best way to put in a new goal. Then right. Like get an yeah. audience with the elf queen because that's so really the next step. Finding the area yeah. is going to be easy enough, but yeah. Yeah, as I said, K Kitty knows her way to that forest really, yeah. like instinctually. So so, yeah. yeah, it's just navigating the forest. You need an elf that is has favor of the elf queen or isn't out of favor with the elf yeah. queen. So yeah, I think we're we're good there. Kitty, if you want to give us your final thoughts before you boost off, I'll complete the rest with the guys. Or are you happy to stick around for that wrap up? Uh, no, I, I do need to get to bed. I only had like four hours sleep last night so i am tired yeah. Yeah, i was trying to go at 10 o'clock but <laughs> right. no, 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 we have a good work thing or just yeah. or just let scott yeah. talk over you apparently sorry yeah, no, wait. i was gonna give my final thoughts but i guess i'll go to bed guys bye 
Oh, I thought you were okay. I don't know. Sorry. No, I'll just shut up. It's fine. Um, yeah, it was just it was interesting telling everyone sort of my history a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like not completely, but it's like there's this full fledged wood elf out in the world. Why is this? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, this is uh Yeah, so I could get you to the Queen. Fine. Just got some parents to deal with. And it'll be good to explore that if that's the new kind of direction we're going in, right? Like let's get to see the elf queen via the possible, you know, problematic background of uh Kitlith and Mustaju. Yeah. Tailoring prints. But yes, thank you very much for playing. Uh and yes, just for everybody's notice, uh, at this point, yeah, like Stu slash Reach is leaving us. Um shame on him, but also understandable. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> his journey comes to an end. His reach had limits. Um, yeah. I'm guessing you... I'm going to portal somewhere random. That's what I'm guessing here, but we'll see about yeah. that. That's fine. I'll uh, I'll let you know when the next one's posted. You can you can find yeah. out your fate. Um, <laughs> but really, it'll just be you'll go off and do something narratively, you know, yeah. elsewhere. It just didn't seem to fit in the time that we had left. To, it like, didn't. Aye. Sadly. Um, but I'll I'll keep you updated on that regardless. And if you ever do decide to return to see how far they get, you can always return in the future. Just wondering who's going to be our meat shield now. I know, right? Who's going to you know KO all the time? Um, no. But yeah, uh, if you want to boost just now, I'll do the rest with everybody. Right. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 So back to goals. Goal number three is blank. What's the thoughts? Let's get something in for um, that. White dragon build a bear. <laughs> Actually, well, meet the uh, gaining an audience is the best one with mm-hmm. the Elf Queen. That really is. It's probably won't get it next time, but you'd hope you oh, might oh, get it the time after that. Mm-hmm. But... Are we not going to Horizons first? Oh, the Prismatic Order? I don't know. Yeah. That's a point. Where did I use going? Yeah. It depends, though. I, I thought like um, the plan was go see the Elf Queen first because yeah. you wanted yeah. to deal with the Elf Queen. Remember, you were going to go yeah. to Horizon. We spoke about Horizon for the magic items potential. Um, as well yeah. as like them helping out, but as Stu had mentioned, they might only help if just Doria is going to help. They might be busy yeah. looking for her. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. They might have found her, right? Who knows? Let's go have fun in Elf Town. Right. Cool. Getting audience with Elf Queen. I think that's quite good. Uh, get Dwarf Delta. I feel like that is ongoing, right? That's that has become the new arc, right? Um, yeah. And really, it's try and make peace with that because really, it's get everybody to help the Citadel and also the dwarves. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we'll talk about goal four, I think, next time a bit more. We'll see if we can like update that so that you get some form of XP for the, what you have done so far and evolve it into something that is relevant for mm. the new thing because it is definitely grown bigger. Um, and I don't want to like say that there's no XP for that because you'd have done a lot of work like working with the Dwarf King, which has been good. Um, yeah. We'll put this hunting a vampire. Like, is that going go anywhere? It oh, doesn't sound like it's going. Yeah. Um, we'll leave it there just now, um, and if we can think of something for next week. No, I'm asking Scott. Do you have anything for there? This isn't a Scott leads the the charge here. Like, is there anything you've got to put in there, or are we abandoning it? Mm. Like, uh, are you um, actively going to pursue this still, or is it something that gets shelved for the future? I would say shelf it. Right, then but, shelf it. Yep. Get it shelved. Yeah. Now, it means you know you've got something to slot in that you need. Good, good. Uh, I will just put uh, uh, oh, there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, right. Uh, based on that, then, uh, let's just update the sheet just now with a, an extra 600 XP for everybody. Um, yeah, level 17. Yeah, sure, that's, that's how yeah. that works. Yeah. Um, and yeah, well, I guess we'll do our, our wrap up chat there. Uh, do you want to just start us off, Stu? Yeah. Uh, Sounds like a whole new massive quest is just about to start, really. Mm. So, yeah. That's, it's not a bad chapter at end to step out at, yeah. 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 Uh, good yeah. luck for it. That's, yeah, the Elf Queen's going to be a tough one, but if you can get that, I think the rest of it's actually relatively easy. Yeah, it's relatively. Almost snowballing almost, right? Almost snowballing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give or take finding. Uh, Gestoria is probably a tough bit in that, but other than that, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So quite good. I was hoping we did get to Porto first so I could see what happened to me. But mm-hmm. yeah, I will need to wait and see. But that's yeah. I'll keep you updated, don't worry. Um, yeah. I'd say time was sadly against us, especially with Kitty needing to boost so early. Um, yeah. 
but yes, again, thank you again for playing from the start as well, Stu. It was a, oh, it was fun. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Now that'll see you in future adventures, most likely, down the line. No doubt. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, oh. Arya, do you want to go next? Since you were uh, somewhat um, plot relevant, right? Somewhat. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is uh, very interesting. Because <laughs> mm. I'm like, okay, so uh, here I am making the soil nice and you know, plant happy and everything, and um, suddenly I, I hear the, the voice again. So I think there's going to be quite a lot of crackling in my future, as in conversations with the crackly bit, crackly spirit of some sorts, and I'll try to get as much information from it as possible. So I'm really excited for next week, damn it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, also, I think uh, we've uh, we understand the king a lot better after after tonight. And um, I I found you know the fact that you know he told us the story and everything. I feel that he's kind of like opened up a little bit more than than they had before, which is brilliant. And um, yeah, I'm just really excited for how this is gonna pan out. And holy, f we have a king's freaking. With us, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. I, I, I totally want to wear it as a helmet. <laughs> yeah, uh, you, you, you miss. I'm, I'm really sad for you actually, because like I said, you, you totally missed on the hel on the, uh, b b b I want to say helmet, but it's not helmet. Hammer. It's hammer. Thank you. <laughs> hammer porn. Mm -hmm. Just sitting in I a mean, corner. I mean, there is. A, we all have part one audio put up, so he definitely can relive it. Um, yeah, no, or I should say, live it. I guess um, he can. We just can't hear him. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> anything else you want to add? Um, no, except um, had tons of fun. Really sad we're losing you, uh, sir. And um, yeah, maybe we'll we'll cross paths in and out of game at some point. I mean, honestly, after this pandemic, I just want to like travel up to Scotland and just grab drinks with everybody. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Let's fucking do it. That's, that's the thing, and whether you want it or not, you should be there, honestly. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and man. at this point, out, Aria, like, like, drink for me, that's going to be famous last words. It's not sure that, Aria? I never said drinks on me, no. Mm? Yeah. No, no, that's, that's me. Perfect. Uh, best deal? Really cool time. Subverted my expectations though. I was expecting him to be like, fuck off, what? That's my hammer. But <laughs> we actually got something out of it. Something awesome. And I liked, I actually read that blew my mind genuinely from like just a story writing perspective. The fact that he realizes that uh, the frills of that kind of structure of just being a king for the sake of being a king isn't, it, it's not the time for that anymore. He has to be a soldier. He has to get down with his. I feel Please like if I say up. thank you, it's a humble brag, but I'm going to say thank you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool, but I'm glad you're enjoying the character, like the Dwarf King. I'm, I love like Donar Patrivangis. He's a he's a great character mm. to to RP as, to be honest, because yeah, he is stuck between a rock and a hard place, right? Um, Changing yeah. a session title, really. Maybe it's a chapter title. Who knows? But. Um, <laughs> No, I'm glad you're enjoying it. I like. I enjoyed that scene a lot as well, which is the you know, give us your hammer. It could be symbolically relevant. Well, it's like, nah, this I can use to hit people with that I might need to if people come at my door. Whereas, <laughs> this is a crown. It means more to people that care about that shit, right? Also ties Very in good. a bit to the um the opinion that his granddad's granddad had, right? Which was the Winter King liked knowing the God Dragon bowed to her, right? Yeah. Even if that's not true. It's still what the dwarf thought. Whereas, like, down the generations, is like, yeah, maybe she'll prefer my crown as this active supplicant, you know, like supplication, as opposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good. Really. I'm glad you enjoyed um, that. Yeah. Mm. And yeah, other than that, usual, it's always good to just. We always get to pretty much do whatever the hell we want. And, uh, it all played out nice. I feel like he's also made a massive chunk of progress this week as well. Like, he's hey, he's got Don Drabella. That's something. Only to start her up now. Oh yeah. And then, uh, oh yeah. But yeah, like in general, like you know, he's 
yeah, you, you kind of do have the king on your side, right? He's kind of on board, even if it was reluctantly, right? He is kind of like, I don't see another way. This is yeah. now the way that has been put in front of us, dot, dot, dot. So yeah, that's yeah. reasonable. It's like symbolic, that kind of like, we lost reach, but we gained on Jabba. She's going to be a monk <laughs> in combat. <laughs> Sadly, sadly, she isn't a monk, but that would have been glorious, um, especially since Reach was trained by a dwarven monk. Um, it'd be quite nicely oh full circle. Yeah, Blade Holy of the Plains. Dragon uh, Mask. Anything else you want to add? Um, no, that's it. Good, good. time. Not good. And last but not least, a grumper. Um, yeah, it was nice to kind of start getting a wee tap into Kitty's history, uh, which I like. And well, then... I mean, we're just we're easing our way into the first fifty-two sessions, you know. Just build it up slowly. <laughs> I mean, yep, totally agree with you. Um, then obviously you ending it with uh, the nice and tasty, uh, you know, tease of "Hello, Mistress" was mm. like this. This is something that I've been really really interested in so it's like i'm like oh yeah stuff's gonna be happening mm. um i like stuff man i like Good. stuff i'm glad um, you like stuff I got, I'm, I'm full of stuff there you go sorted yeah so so that's kind of got me in a good mood um yeah um good end to a, a good session yeah good i'm glad gonna have gonna have some toast and be happy Good, excellent. I yeah, like we will catch up with everybody next time, except Stu. Sadly, again, mm. farewell to you and uh, thank you, everybody, for playing. Thank, thank you. you, thank you. Thanks, guys. Yeah. See you after. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.